Hi guys, it's me, Angel Lake Hero 23. I'm at the Bruce Moore Mansion today. It's it's a it's a it's a nice feel out today, but it's a little cloudy. I was gonna catch some sun, but the clouds came in. So I figured I'd just come over here and do a reading for you guys. I love this place. Um Usually I use the Alice in Wonderland tarot deck when I come here because this place definitely has a Alice in Wonderland feel to it. But on another note, it has like a Batman-like feel too. This is the pet cemetery right here. I'm literally doing tarot on the graves of a couple of the pets that lived here. This is the pet cemetery. That pet cemetery. Over there is Leo the lion. I, I'm pretty sure he was one of the lions at the beginning of, um, like the old, like one of them that was at the beginning of the old MGM movies. <clears throat> um, that place is owned by the National Treasury. Um, I believe they took place of it in the 1980s. Um, it still looks like it did when the owners of the mansion lived here. Live here. It, it's beautiful inside. Um, it only costs $10 to do a tour here. I, I've gone in there multiple times because there's so much to look at. There was actually... Um, a guy that lived here who died on the Titanic. His wife actually survived. So she made it back. So, um, yeah. This place is spectacular. Has a lot to offer. After the reading, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you guys around a little bit. First card that comes out. We're using the Archangel Power Tarot Deck by Radley Valentine. Um, if you're interested in knowing which deck I'm using. Alright, we have um, the Nine of Gabriel, which is like the Nine of Wands. Um, so this card um, comes with creativity behind it. It says, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility environmental activism. Oh my gosh, I'm looking around and they are doing a lot around here. And it seems to be, they're just tearing up the trees around here. And I, you know, they can only do so much at a historic site. They can't like change up too much. But they're attacking all the trees because they have this like orchard over here and they have over here that they're growing new trees I guess they're gonna replant the new trees that they were growing they started growing these trees they told me um, after the derecho because Cedar Rapids took a big hit um, when it came to the trees and it, it, the this trees made made the city beautiful um but I don't see why they would be cutting down more and more trees. I think Irene is pissed. I, I feel it. Like, I, like the trees that were here that are old hold character. It, it's ridiculous. There, there was a very beautiful like tree behind me where this spot, ugly spot is now. This is the pet cemetery. See the little gravestones? These were dogs. I'm pretty sure King. We got Nick. Uh, another King. Uh, Max. Wooly. King. Uh, a Joe. Rex. That's what I can see from right here. There's more. The, the lion's name was Leo.
All right. So, yeah. I'm going to put this card back. Irene wants everybody to know she's fucking pissed about the trees. <coughs> the trees that were here hold character. Because they tore up a bunch over there. A whole fucking line of trees over there. That are by the pond area. I'll, I'll show you guys around. But All right. Back to the reading. We need to know what's going on with the collective, Irene. First. Okay. <laughs> All right, we have this Knight of Ariel. Um, this is a knight, male or female, coming in with a lucrative offer. There's so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Being watched over by someone kind. Oh, that's nice. We have Manifesting, the Magician card. We have an Emperor. And we have the four of Raphael. This emperor is tired of uh, dull offers. This video is like dark. So, okay. I'll just move up a little bit. Sorry. I could rest here. <laughs> okay. So, I think this the, the emperor is in this energy like you see how this girl is looking to the sand kind of like feeling bored <sighs> and this person is bored with the offers that life keeps throwing at them We have a lot of backstabbing and betrayal. I feel like life wants to give this person more, but somebody keeps standing in their way of getting what they actually want. Maybe because they give them bad advice or whatever. That's a backstab. When you know your friend is going in the right direction and then you don't, and it's something in you, um, forces you to want to give them bad advice that it stems from somewhere devilish in reality all right we have this star card <clears throat> abundance emotional fulfillment that's what this stands for i mean ace of cups is emotional fulfillment but this is indicating you know somebody's ready for emotional fulfillment in their life a dream come true. That's emotional fulfillment. Like, we get tired of the same old boring offers. Because the same old boring boring offers tend to come with um, the same lessons that we're, we've already learned. And then all of a sudden, we're just teaching other people lessons. And nobody likes that shit after a while. It's like, I didn't sign up for this. I signed up for eventually living my life. That's what I did all this work for. Um, and that's why I built myself the way I built myself with like morals and boundaries and, and stable foundations and whatnot. Like, at some point, you want to experience new lessons, you know? If life is continuously holding you back while you're mentally prepared to move forward, there's something wrong. For real. And it could be, like, karmic cycles that you need to cut ties from. Or end cycles. Bring death to it. Um, be careful which ways you go at the crossroads. Life is trying to bring this person to the right choices for themselves, but they keep choosing dull, quick. Uh, okay, it's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, convenient. The, this person keeps choosing convenience at the crossroads.
We have divine guidance. The divine keeps leading them to like their way out of repeating that cycle, but they keep choosing not to. Like you gotta wait for a little bit. The, the, like if you're tired of this repetitive cycle of the same boring ass lessons, then you need to choose a certain thing. You're obviously not learning one lesson that's stopping you or something. And that's um, the truth because this card came out next. It's time to move forward quickly, choose logic over emotions. We have sudden changes. Yeah, when all of a sudden you start choosing logically for yourself, like if I have a fucking, I'm just gonna use myself as an example, not that I would do this, but if I had um, a fuck boy I was fucking around with all the time and I'm looking for a husband material is my husband, future husband, gonna see me for what I want him to see me for if I'm fucking around with a fuckboy 24-7 waiting for them? No. They want to see me stable and on my own. Doing shit independently. They want to see what I bring to the table for myself because that means what that's what I bring to the table all the time. When you're relying on a fuckboy... You're bringing a fuckboy to the table. And you think that's going to make... Me, you know, no. No. It's never even going to be like a thought. <laughs> so yeah. When you start thinking like that. Like you're trying to actually attract your manifestations. Then your manifestations come in. <clears throat> Once you let go of certain things, then helpful people come in to lead you in the right direction. So they've these are the type of people that have already experienced whatever it is you're experiencing and they are helping you get to the next level so be assertive about what it is you want they don't these are the type of people that don't want to offer you shit you don't want anymore because that's what you're sick of so they're they're these are the type of people that have an open ear they ain't talking 24 seven and talking over you and telling you what would be best for you these people are coming like this like I see you need help what do you need that's a there, there's a big difference then that's how the sudden changes start taking place Ooh, in the clarity card section, we have <laughs> somebody getting arrested, possibly. We have a reset, that, uh, that reset situations when people get taken out of the, you know, game. You're, you, you can't do shit when you're sitting in jail. We have a dad. We have divinely guided clues. Um... Ooh, a witness. Something happened. This person did something to get himself arrested. Guilty by association. Um, we have something to do with India. Uh, playing with the threads of life. Oh, this person has been waiting for their emotional fulfillment. And it's been blocked because... These Indian people and this father figure have been... Um, creating illusions and playing with people's lives. They're fucking with the money. <laughs> In other words. <laughs> and that's comforting news. 
because this person that has been in that energy we were talking about where they've had the same offers over and over and they swear they are not choosing bad options it's because the bad options keep manifesting themselves due to somebody else's negative agenda pushing you're under their thumb essentially but why though how how did you get under their thumb that's the thing may receive something by mail um we're dealing with somebody who uses lies somebody needs love something is very sad um somebody's being protected by the divine for their protection because the divine is pissed too like literally the the whole universal flow was fucked up when you're not gonna get when when okay so let me explain something this person that keeps getting these bogus offers handed to them um, to take and they don't want them, it's becoming stifling. This person needs proper stimulation um, that's appropriate for where they're at mentally. And they're not getting that. So that's becoming an issue. The universe is really about to like Clear some people out of the way in order to help this person because this is becoming an issue. They, they are being looked at as demonic for holding this person back in the way that they have. <clears throat> you have something to do with incest and odd beliefs um unholy hate this may be some lies yep we have lies out here somebody is using lies to keep themselves um in the uh, you know in the game they, they don't want to get arrested okay pay attention to this Incest, no beliefs, unholy hate, lies. Vision for drama, always. That's because they want to know what you know. It's so weird. Like, if they would just let it go and not bring it up, nobody would give a fuck. We have a thief who stole something that wants... And now we have this wants to make love energy. Let, let me go pull some more cards around that. That was a lot of clarity. A lot. Nine of Ariel. This is an independent person. We have a uh, family. Seven of Michael, which is Seven of Swords. Um, coming out, uh, uh, walking, you know, uh, after uh, going through a period of time. Um, from being backstabbed and betrayed, you are stronger on your own and you're looking to connect with your soul family who's gonna see what it is that's best for you. They're gonna see to how to get you to where you need to be because you've been through a struggle because these this this thief stole love from your life like everything they got you stuck in this stagnant cycle repeating the same thing over and over and life is only throwing certain options at you and that's the options they want you to take and they're all negative as fuck that's why you're like no fuck that I don't need these lessons 
So, this person, like, we have committed relationships. Being swept off your feet. Switch si the situations or topics that make your heart flutter. This person got exposed. They're getting arrested. This other person's like, thank you. Thank you. They, they want to make love to this person that just saved their life, basically. Not that they were dying or anything, but their, their, their love was they were feeling depleted. Lack of stimulation. All right, we have Queen of Gabriel. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. So this Queen of Wands is helping this person attract the helpful people they need. Actually. Factually. Um, we have this Six of Ariel because they want you to find the proper blessings for yourself. They, they don't want, they're not the type of person that wants to, like, partake in ruining things for you. Ugh. We have this two of pentacles. It's important to have balance. Working multiple jobs or projects at once. Making work fun. So, somebody, oh, okay, so this person likes how somebody, um, juggles this task and then that task and this other task in order to get to the solution that is actually, factually needed. The universe may be sending signs connected to the weather. Today, it's hot, but it's cloudy. I think, I think that means things are a blur. Or we got a lot of cloud cover. It's these liars. All right. After um, the truth starts being known to everybody, that's when the end of the cycle takes place because the new perspective is gained. And then we find peaceful resolutions. All the band-aids to the situations that were, were being offered before were actually like cover-ups. That's being illuminated. Sometimes people act like they, they want to help you, but then after a while, you're like, are you, okay, wait, are you actually, actually trying to help me, or are you just trying to help me get to where you need me, and that's what it is, they're always trying to get this person, or multiple people, we could be talking about multiple people, if this resonates with you, they're just trying to get you to where they want you, so if you have a bunch of fucking weirdo drug addicts that keep coming in your direction when you go out and offering you weird shit and you're like do I even look like the person that wants that shit get the fuck away from me if that keeps happening that's because that's what they want you 
to be. Somebody out there is talking shit behind your back. And they're saying, like, that's the type of person you are. But you ain't that at all. You ain't gonna be that ever. You're looking for a, the beautiful life. Alright. I'm gonna end that here. That was that was a nice reading. So we can expect emotional fulfillment soon. Fabulous. Oh, I forgot I was going to show you guys around a little bit. Let's do that. We're just going to set these cards over here on the bench or something. The butterfly. I'm all right. Almost totally just did that. Oh crap. <laughs> all right. So this is uh the garden, the flower garden. There's the sign for the pet cemetery. I look like I belong here. I really look like Irene Douglas. If you take a tour here, there's a picture of her on the wall. It's like a painted portrait. But I look like her. Over there, by the, the like servant houses, there was a line of trees in the front. And they tore them all down, like four or five trees. Like, why? doing so much work around out here. It's ugly. Why the fuck are they doing that? Dude, they ain't even taking care of the garden. Look at it. It's all brown and shit. Maybe they should quit paying people to fucking cut down the trees and pay some people to fucking water these goddamn flowers. And weed. asked them if I could have a job here. They told me they weren't hiring. Over there is the orchard and there's a Johnny Appleseed tree. I think I showed you guys the Johnny Appleseed tree last time. This place is amazing. So much to offer, like I said. It. it looks like it got messed up in the derecho, probably. Johnny apple seed tree. I'm gonna turn this off. Uh... Nah. I was gonna flip the camera around, but you guys are walking with me.
They're with me. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, they're sprinkling over here. That's the old fool. That's a porch right there. It's really cool. This was like the servant side of the mansion. Sexy vintage in that place. Very. That's the front door. There's sprinkling over here too. I gotta grow, re grow the grass because they fucked it up. Because they had to build this new. I don't even know what the fuck they did over here. I don't. I don't know. Well, I, I said that was the front door, but this is actually the front of the mansion. So their front door is their back door. Because this one don't open. Somebody in there. What the fuck? You're not supposed to sit in there. There's somebody in there. That's the dining room. I don't know if you guys can see it. A little bit. Look, look. There's like a grate here. I don't want to... It's stable. Okay. <laughs> that was just in my mouth. I'm gonna wrap this around. In that room right there is where the guy from the Titanic that, that, that died, that, that was their room. It's the swan room. What it's called. And then over there, in that one, that's the groom's room. And they have these, uh, the tw there was twin boys that lived in that room. The nursery was on, was on the other side. This right here is the library. They have a book in there. I, when I came to visit, I was like, let me just see what the names of the books are. And I walked up and the first book I looked at, it said, Thero's Guide to the Hand. And I was wearing a rosary that day. And on the rosary, it had, it, it wasn't a real rosary. It had like a mushroom on it instead of a cross. And right here, I had like a, a star with a moon. And that was the symbol on the book. And I was like, wow, I was, I was blown away by that. This is another porch. It's 
It's a cool vibe. I like walking around out here. They have an organ set up that they can play for you. Um, and then it, it fills the whole mansion, the sound of the organ. That was a, that's the room that has a painting of Irene Douglas. And uh, there's a big mirror that's like bowed a little and it has an eagle on it it's it's gold around it and it has an eagle on it and they had the same type of mirror but smaller um at a i think i think it's a hotel and brunch that's like haunted in new orleans they have they had the same mirror but it was smaller And they, I, I heard they said Irene Douglas was a broke bitch, but I, no, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. No, she fucking wasn't. Ah! I just got sprinklered. No, she wasn't. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it here. I gotta go get my tarot cards from over on the bench and take them back to the car. Thanks for looking at stuff with me. Oh, I didn't show you guys the pond though. All right, I'll show you guys the pond. We gotta grab these cards though. like little children going in circles together that dog his name was King a statue for King There's a tree over here. See that tree over there? With the bench. Inside the mansion. Inside that, in the middle windows, that's the staircase. There's a painting on the wall of three people sitting around a bench that looks just like that one. And they have a big, long thread. And it's like, the thread is so big, so many people have to use, like, like it's stringing along their legs going down a line. Very interesting. And we had that card come out in the, in the reading that said playing with the threads. That's the threads of life. The spirits are threading our manifestations for us. So that's why you must be specific about what it is you fucking want. If you don't know what you want and then what you want comes around and your spirit guides know oh my god it's breaking dude it was not broken before they're trying to get rid of things
Over there is where they do plays. Still. Like today. Oh, can you see it? Animals are very active around the pond. That was the servant houses over there. Servants, not slaves. I love the little lily pad patch. You see it over there in the water? I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm like holding it up high. There's a little spot you can sit. That looks like an old table. Lovely. Well, it is nice that you can see the houses from here now, but. That, that, see that? That's where they dug up them trees that I was talking about. Like a whole fucking line of them. It does look nice that you can see the houses a little better, but they were like pine trees. It looked nice. There's a cardinal. Those are the trees that they planted. I guess they're going to replant these trees over there. I thought they were fixing Cedar Rapids. You know what I'm saying? So if they're, they were going to grow these trees to go fix Cedar Rapids, because Cedar Rapids got messed up, why the fuck are they doing that? It don't make no sense. Oh, look. There's a dragonfly riding a dragonfly. That's, that's a sign. We can walk over here to where they make plays and check out the artwork they got. They do different plays and stuff here, so it switches up. Oh, well, that's a big hole. Why are they coming? Why is the hole covered? Oh, I guess there's somebody who hasn't fallen in. There's a little deer that was living in these trees last summer. I used to come check on it. I think it was eating the apples from the Johnny Apple tree. Looks pretty. That's a nice steam. Pretty cool. All right. Y'all seen it all? Oh, except for these houses over here. All right. We're almost back to the car. We're gonna drop off these cards, and then. We'll finish the tour. Might as well. <sighs> Look at these trees. See, that's the kind of trees they're like cutting down. Like, why the fuck? Gives it that vintage flair. <sighs> they're ruining the sexy vintage character around here. I almost want to leave just right, right now because of it. <laughs> Hold on a second.
these teenagers. So I guess they do like work out of here. That's their little garden greenhouse. I don't know what they're doing with the um, vegetables. Oh, there's the bathroom. I think this was the barn. That's now offices. How is that keeping it? I don't I don't see how that's keeping it like it should be when it's not like where's the fucking animals? They want people to pay to come fucking view this shit or not? What the goat statue. There's no longer a goat statue in front of the mansion, and there was before. Looked just like that one. It was in the garden. A pulling. See how these are like stalls? But that's people working here now. And these were the servant houses. They rent those out. Like apartments. <sighs> Fulfillment. That's what this stands for. That was why I wanted to finish this off and come over here. Because in the reading we were talking about emotional fulfillment. And they are making choices quickly over here and not thinking about what's best. Now I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for taking a little tour with me. It was grand. Saving the sexy vintage. Oh, my purse is stuck. Something stuck. Uh-oh. My purse got stuck in my dress. That means something stuck.